far. He's actually um, gonna fight Rafi from the UCI. Rafi did beat out Killian. I believe he was a Smash 4. Yeah, he was a Sma Smash 4 Samus Me. All right, well, we'll see what things can do for Ivy here on this side. It's BT. Who's a uh, Joy-Con to connect it? Hey, man, this is, this is where it hurts. Someone's, someone's got their, I, I think one of, yes, no, it's it's there. It's, it's a set of straight cards. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, like, hold up for a second. Someone actually have their Joy-Cons connected because... Hey, man. Maybe, uh, maybe these are the secret secret Joy-Cons no one knew about? Trying to mess up, like, trying to, trying to screw up the Winter Finals match, right? Like, I don't want to fight I'm him. Let me, uh, let me do some uh, manipulation here. Right, well, anyways, no manipulation needed anymore. It's going to be a, 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 somewhat of a pretty honest battle here <laughs> between Sui T and I'm Hip. I mean, those people don't feel honest when they latch onto you, man. They're kind of out there pulling out the cheap hits. Oh, Mark gets to stand back. Play El Presidente. Send the village people right there to do the dirty work. But right now, it looks like Sweet T's pretty dominant over I'm Hip right now. Oh, he's 62 percent racked up. Normally, it's all of our racking up all this damage. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. just having none of it. He uses the water gun to just force I'm hit to recover from far away. Great purple throw there from I'm hit to force Sweet uh, off of the ledge. Yeah. And they're gonna use the Pokemon Shield not to find anything. Dude, the Razor Leaf's coming out right now. We have a planned battle between Razor Leaf and the Pig. <laughs> He's going out stage to try and get some of the equipment off of him. He's gonna be able to use the bind with recovery, so not gonna get contested very much by I'm hit. hit. Right now though does have the ledge. He runs back and avoids the bind with keeps Sweet Tea on the ledge right now. Yeah, he's definitely trying to show respect to Sweet Tea how he's playing. Great charge on the F-Smash. The I'm hit special right there charging that F-Smash. Expecting your spot dodge and making you feel pretty tough for doing it. <laughs> but great tenacity right there from Sweet Tea. He's holding shield. Gets the pummel in, gets the bullet. Well, that's another one. So, the charge already really just trying to go for plus with the flame for the ledge. Not only that, he's got some weight, but he tries to go for an aerial object and really I'm hit calls it out. Right, up smash, not gonna. Up throw into nothing from uh Swordle here. Good the jab and really on uh, Sweet T setting up for an edge guard opportunity here and he misses the grab there but he waits for a second. That's another one. Yeet. Yep, sends him to the blast time. Right. Sweet T in a bit of a deficit now, but not by too too much. You know, Squirtle can make up this damage rather fast. Yeah. And right, well, he starts off with that grab and immediately Sweet T carries it onto the edge guard phase. Nice, but back out of shield. Trying to play it oh, safe against all and he gets the down air, and of course he's still able to survive. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I don't think Sweet T wanted to grab the ledge right there. Yeah. It's kind of interesting too because in Smash 4, Olimar, if he held all the Pikmin, man, he got some, he gave some weight, dude, but yeah. Now in Ultimate, man, he holds all the fame and he actually looks kind of fine. Yeah, it definitely isn't quite as bad as yeah. that, but it still uh, does affect him. I like Rachel it. Rachel Leaf's eating through the finger right now. He's gonna actually find the kill on one of them. Back to the from Charizard. Right? Yeah, he doesn't see any, doesn't see the platform probably go pretty up and out. That doesn't seem very fair. Why are the, why can all of the Pikmin take that flame throw? I feel like that should've got rid of at least all of them but the red one. But Man. instead that up throw gonna be getting rid of that stock for my head. Yeah, so far Sweet T likes that opportunity how that one played out. So far, sticking to Charizard, just trying to have a little bit more weight on his hands against him. I don't like it. Even using the flamethrower to kind of hit the Pikmin, especially uh... Okay, I like it goes low. I'm hit with no low play here. Alright, back there there for the Sweet Team. He's actually doing a great job of just forcing this advantage against I'm hip. I'm hip not able to fight the nail from the other side. Gets the up tilt. Forces him onto the platform, but keep the shield there from Sweet Tea. Oh, and he risks it all for that flare blitz. And actually gets no punish from I'm hit there. He landed on the platform where I'm hit wasn't ready for it, but he is able to find that stock eventually. Yeah, if he had a little more pressure on the shield, man, he actually could have brought the shield now. Bad in the stock. Alright, there's a down throw. I just thought it was a solid combo to nearly switch into the Ivysaur. But he even got the playing field in terms of spacing. 
Rosalie jabs with great spot dodge there from TT. I'm hip evening up this game. Man, it's still just looking real scared for both players. Really, I'm hip catching him to TT. I like it, man. You're not gonna hit my big man. I'll just go ahead and bury each and every one of these razor blades that I But that's kind of what we saw Sweet T kind of now switching to Ivis on right now that he knows, hey, these razor blades can actually go and hit the man. I'll hit that play. I'll smash. Do it. Scooping him. Oh yeah, super close. Sweetie was not too far behind at all. And yo, Sweetie has taken sets off of I'm Hit before. It yeah, he actually won the last um, tournament at Esports Arena Thursdays, where I ended up having Smash a little bit on Thursdays. He actually won it over I'm Hip. It was like it was like Sweetie, I'm Hip, and one Yeah, and actually, you know, the Pichu switch coming out here from Sweetie. Yeah. Um. I'm actually really interested in how this goes because the instantaneous damage from all of our is so much more against Pichu than it really does against Charizard or Ivy Show. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how things are going immediately because now he's switching out to the Pichu. Oh, I don't know about that one, too. <laughs> I kind of like how immediately, like, I'm here was trying to get some spacing and then Sweet Tea just caught up to him was going for the Skull Bash. Actually, a DI makes up a tear, almost getting that shot. Great avoidance on the Thunder there. Alright, I'm right, just gonna play the safe game here. Especially at the ledge, he knows how sweet he's gonna be coming with these Thunder Bolts. And he has a little bit of a lead, of course, Pichu being the lightest character in the game. He gets a crowd like a bad situation. He yeah, he's take gone. care of it. Yeah, he's gone. That's the kind of like the whole line he was playing. Like, hey man, at this point, you're at 120. I find my spacing, I find my grab with all these Pikmin, and you're gone. Again. Goes for the up air into the thunder, and it does connect, does take that stock off of I'm hit. And you know, I was gonna say this wasn't looking like a great talent pick so far, but you know, Sweet T silencing me right here, keeping it relatively even, spacing out with these people. Back, landing back here into the grab, gets the down throw into the up air. Tries to get the down air early on time hit, but that yellow pigment actually staying in I'm hit so it's it should because it isn't affected by electrical hits. I, I like I like how one thing that I'm just doing now is like yeah, you, you see him with the yellow pigment unaffected by like, electric hits. But it's also the spacing that he understands between him and Sweet Like he knows he's gonna come up with a four he knows he's gonna come up with a thunder kill. He looks for the spacing to punish the landing. I like the smoke smashing with the yellow pigment right through the people. Not gonna even be phased by it. Nice, gets a down smash, and I'm gonna deal with the edge guard phase in his hands. Okay, I like it. Goes back to that spacing, like I said. Look at what he's doing. Like, he looks to find Sweet T's landing. Sweet T there, able to fall into it each and every time. Now, Sweet T, uh, 143%. I'm just gonna get to grab here at the situation, man, and he takes him in the stock. And you can tell that Sweet T's kind of respecting that. He saw how that played out the last stock, the last game. Oh, great, out smash right there from oh. Sweet T. Actually getting that stock off of I'm hit. Patience and it pays off. Bad air dodge into the ground though. Going to get grabbed. Now, you know, even then he's still in a great spot. You know, it was looking really favored for I'm hit, but he wasn't going to get that early stock with the forward smash. Yeah. Now it's actually in his favor just a little bit. Yeah. Yet again, I'm hit with still great space. Give him the run around and nearly the punish from landing. Oh my god, gets a double up into the Thunder immediately. Sweet T turning things around. Crazy as he hit it with dash attack up there. Beat you, man. SoCal used to be a, SoCal used to be a world of sheiks and foxes. Now we're Pichus and wolves. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. wolves and rats over foxes and ninjas. I, I mean, Kawadi, like, man. Why was like, hey man, I heard you got some. Uh, when he came here to Soka, he was like, I heard you got some extra rats. You guys need to take care of. Yeah. Why he came here when I had a couple of missiles? Call him exterminator at that point. But oh. Kawadi back, right? The future is sitting here in Soka. <laughs> well, anyways, Kawadi not here. I'm hip. Double up and really starts off solidly strong against Sweet Tea. Throw, really pulls up the Pikmin, kind of sees the spacing and how Sweet Tea landed. So he really holds off, doesn't want to go for any other option. Sweetie starts off immediately in his face. He gets a downer and it strikes. And he actually gets the 
Oh, he gets the trap block, goes for the forward smash, he is on the wrong side of the street, so it's not gonna get the stock, but that's big damage on time. Oh. Looking for the thunder. Okay, he immediately kind of goes for the neutral air dodge there. He would have gone for the direction, and he would have had some end lag. And kind of mixing his recovery height to avoid Sweet Tea. So he kind of turned around, right? I ended up looking for the spacing, but Sweet Tea with the aggressiveness. Sweet Tea's just looking for that toe touch right now. He yeah. knows he'll get the stock off of Ike. Kind of using this aerial thunder jolt to find an opportunity to get Ike in the shield and go for a grab or go for a punish. Getting most of the damage by throwing Pikmin onto Sweet Tia every time he tries to throw the Eagle. Yeah, immediately Sweet Tia looking to approach the threshold to be up thrown. Oh, he tries to get the grab and immediately Sweet Tia. There's the punish. Yeah. It really hurts, man. You're, you're out here trying to get like. Why is that move has no business being just cut in the end? Yeah. Like, I, I get crowned by Forward Tilt, you know, because it's not within the sword, the Cena, more. So, like, don't talk. Just <laughs> throws out. Yeah. Anyways, I'm people have to learn to deal with that one 132% onto 3D. Great combo, man. This is giving oh I'm the works. And he actually catches him with the back. Oh, Always almost 60% on. Goes for the down air. Gonna get hit with I hit's down air, actually. I'm like. um, unable to punish 3T on the landing. It's kind of interesting too because 3 actually oh made my God, made, he's actually made Pikachu in Smash 4. Yeah. Yeah, so he's definitely got the practice on making it work. There's the up throw. I'm getting that first stock off the sweet but he has a whole nother one to deal with. Okay, really going to back with Thunder Joe play. I mean, if I'm just going to go ahead and try to play a contend with the spacing, the sweet's going to have to definitely catch up to that one as well. That's why he's going for the early Thunder Joe. Like I said, he's looking for an yeah. opportunity to catch up to Slim Beam. Yeah, but I'm sure I worry if Sweet Tea got a little bit too complacent. Oh yeah, 101% onto this second stock. But he's not cooling the Jets at all. He feels himself no, on the thunder and he paid the price. Yeah, no, things are starting to look good for our hip again. Yeah. You know, this game was looking super in one-sided for so long, but Sweet Tea has to try and find a way to, you know, close out this game before I'm hitting my teammate. Oh there no, it is. and... He was so tough because at that situation, I'm hit one for a down air, and he tried to come back to the ledge and go for another option, but that's funny, you're just committed to being in this <sighs> So tough, man. Up 2-1 now, but the yeah. switch working out real well for him. You gotta tell, dude, I'm kind of shaking his head. Like, he does not like how this is going on at all. Yeah, he's uh, definitely oh. not figuring out an answer for the forcing team right now. I mean, he, you know, all of them are always notorious to have this awkward dead zone in front of, or like diagonally in front of him. That's why they're able to keep him in so much trouble with him. Because that's the angle that's up there. And that's kind of the angle that these uh, sea bolts are coming in from Pichu as well. Yeah. As far as Pichu only takes like 0.4% for a Thunder Jolt. So Sweet Tea can actually go for the two of them still take no percent at all. Not even going to 1% yet. Alright, I'm now starting off with full force, kind of shaking his hand back into the game here. He's really starting off 65% against Sweet Looking to take the lead away from him. And a great anti air out there. That's already a dead feature. Yeah, I'm hip starting off pretty strong in this game four. Of course, he's got to play strong, especially with Sweet D with the set point. Looking for the back is not gonna find anything. He goes for the down charge, just eats a weak hit forward smash though. Yeah. But again, I think the space he's still carrying off in the last game. Gets the down I like it. Trying to follow up with a forward hit, but missing out. Missing Alright, Sweet T turning it up to 11. He really just trying to go relentless. He knew that's what kind of game I had in trouble last game, right? Being relentless into his face. He was using his T jolts to find an opportunity to get in. But now these platforms, that's kind of the difference between PS2 and Battlefield, right? It's the layout, right? Now these platforms are a little bit more closer rather than have a dual plat a little yeah. bit far away, right? There is that space to get in. And it's also creating the shield almost for I'm hit to stay under and avoid the potential approaches from Sweet Tea. Exactly. You know, if he wins this game, I would expect something like a Battlefield ban. Or not yeah. Battlefield ban, a uh, FD ban. Yeah. 
and there's the back there. That's already a three stock five hit. Man, I'm hit response and Klein saying, you know what, you want to play rat? You want to play meta fun? I've yeah. been playing meta before you. Now, the scary part is because we have no DSR, Sweet Tea can go back to PS2 assuming I'm hit bans, FD, and Kalos. Yeah. Because those would be my go-to well, bans. Well, that's the one. Yeah. Given that, you know, open space to land on me with Thunderbolt. Yeah. Exactly, and but, that's kind of what's going on in this player's mind. Like, what's the right stage for We see how Battlefields affected the game for CT and how PS different the game behind it. So now they're kind of giving it a little bit of thought, like, hey, what's, what are the proper stages you want to go to? Yeah, and it's going to be back to PS2. Again, I'm assuming it's FD and Kalos band away stage. Oh. Um, but even then, I'm just going to have to just do his best to stay under these platforms and create that shield with what he has. Exactly, right? That's kind of how he played the last game of the Battlefield. Especially having the small stage to work with. He knew he was going to kill Peach a little bit early, but the last character in the game. But in the last game, five, this is an Iron Hill's do or die situation. And Sweet T's last chance to get a here to winner's finals against Nico. Sweet T goes and gets the grab, gets the re grab, down throw into the up here. Two of them into the down about a great whistle here. Sweet T, though, not letting I'm hit have any room to breathe. He knows once he gets the advantage, he has to get as far as he can if he wants to be I'm hit. You can't just try and trade control at the same time. You have to win once you take it off. Yeah. Really, I can look at the opportunity here Sweet T. Great grab off of that back here. Going deep for the quarter, not going to find it. Sweet T looking for the toe touch right now. Coming out, I'm hit going straight through them with these swords, my dude. Yeah, he kind of understands, like, let me get a little bit of spacing with every turn control, right? He's challenging them with the Pikmin, then he almost gets the grab, and then what oh, if it's big? So Spot dodge down tilt into the down here, gets the south bar, it kills I'm hit off of the side. Is he gonna have to do his best to try and just avoid getting, uh, grab. uh getting hit with a smash either, getting grab, getting hit with really angry, spacing away, using these two jolt approaches. And even then, like, Sweet Tea knows what I'm doing, like, throwing a Pikmin, and that costs him to go for an opportunity to try to get it off, even allowing I'm him to go for a possible opportunity, but immediately Sweet Tea turning it up. Yeah, and again, you know, we saw right there, I'm him staying under the Pokemon stand platform there, and as soon as Sweet Tea tried to throw the two goals down, he was able to jump through and get able to up with the stop. Yeah. Down throw, goes for the down air, not gonna get it, though, great from I'm hit. Oh, the down is extending the hitbox off of the Pikmin. This game is really just dead even right now. <laughs> they kind of understand it like, hey, this is the spacing here, so we got to be careful. I doesn't want to get too close to Sweet Tea. Sweet doesn't want to get too close to Iron Hip without going for the Thunder Jolt. See, he gets on the stage, right? But he knows, like, if I stay on the stage here and I try to go in without a Thunder Jolt, I'm going to find an opportunity here with the Pikmin. Immediately, yet again. And they're putting in wonders against the feature and he's missing the up there. I think it's been on it. Damage starting to rack up, but goes for the up throw. Catches the Yoda, but doesn't actually hit it. I like it. I hit back on the space in game yet again. Especially right there on the platform. We're going to see what CT's reaction was going to be. He gets that dash attack. I'm in a little bit of trouble here at the ledge. Oh, he actually pulls him down, but he bounces off of the stage, not able to drag him down into the body to get the kill. Oxmash is gonna do the trick though for on him. Sweet Tea down to his last stock. Yeah, and in that situation, he kind of knew, like, hey, Sweet Tea's been going for these Thunderbolts in the air, right? He's trying to go for an aerial option to go come in from the ground. Try right, coming from the air to get me on the ground. <laughs> and Kip with a great lead, 62% on Sweet Tea and 129 with two stocks. Yeah, the At this double. point, I'm Hip is content to play the lane game. Yeah, I mean, Doing what he's got to do a win right now. He knows that Sweet Tea is really just trying to find a way in. And once you start getting aggressive versus I'm hit, that's when he's able to figure out your options the best. Yeah. Double purple setup for I'm hit, though. That's the real scary. And as I say that, oh, wait, no toe touch. I, he is still alive in Sweet Tea. is still alive in this game. But it got to come down to can he open on him up once and get the goal for it. Yeah, and it's not even a matter of time, too, because we have four minutes on the table. Uh, I'm still doing pretty good with 150%. Kind of understands, like, yeah, hey, I have the lead here, so he's going to have to approach me, and if I need an opportunity here, I'll take it, especially with his approaches. That's what we're kind of seeing. I'm kind of show his backside, having to kick me out. He's looking for the opportunity to get either a bigger grab, we're going to punish on the landing. Wait, fade away there from him. He's staying out of that grab lane. Nice, he's in the pick to find a follow-up and get in there, but I'm such a 
stage, gets the back air, and he's kind of changing the landing. Oh, great counter smash, but not gonna find it. Back air for Sweet Tea. Doesn't find the grab. Oh, there's the opening though. He gets it, put the whistle. He goes for the up air afterwards, just barely missing. Okay, and again, Sweet Tea knows what he has to do here. He's got Thunder Jolt from the air. And Kip has to play patient. Ready for the landing, he's got the grab. And he's sharky for it, but he can't find the opportunity. Just can't see this in the game, a lot harder each time. Nails the red pick and also he knows that the damage is on. Anything is going to kill him. He's got play that's so safe right now. At one point, I kind of want to see Iron Hand just commit to throwing a, a Pikmin, which we kind of are seeing now, and wait for Sweets to react to it, and then just punish afterwards, oh, and he goes for the yeah. And that does it! 